Hello and welcome to the National Science Learning Centre. This is the last video in our series on Christmas chemistry demonstrations and how you can link demonstrations together to engage pupils. Now you've seen our theme so far is about Santa Claus coming to town. So we've gone through the endothermic reaction, which is looking at how we make it nice and cold and chilly and icy, ready for winter, because Christmas is in winter. Then we're going through to the Northern Lights, where we created the Northern Lights in a conical flask, which we can light Santa's way for his journey to our house. Um, and then we had the fireflies, which was making that magic glowing powder that we put into the reindeer's feed to get them to fly and bring Santa and his sleigh in the presents to our house. Presents are very important. And lastly, we're going to use a really good classic chemistry demonstration called the iodine clock to simulate that we need to turn our lights off, we need to go to bed, we need to be really good boys and girls um, on Christmas Eve for Santa to arrive on Christmas Day. Now, the iodine clock is a really, really nice chemistry demonstration. Um, the recipe for the two solutions we're going to use can be found um, with Kleeps and the Royal Society of Chemistry in their classic demonstrations guide. Um, there's quite a lot of information on it online um, and you can find more about it on the National STEM Centre as well. Now, what we've done here is we've created a little house. So we've got our windows here, a nice little door at the front. Um, we've got a lamp over here, and that lamp is going to illuminate our windows. So if we just turn that on, so you should see that light coming out of the windows there. Now, the whole idea of this demonstration and to link it into our Christmas theme and Santa Claus coming to deliver our presents is that we're going to use the iodine clock to turn the lights off for us. So a nice bit of chemistry just showing this nice principle. So we have our light shining through there, and I'll just turn this off for the moment. And at the front here, we have two beakers and the two solutions we've mentioned. Now we're going to put solution A into our beakers, then place those beakers behind the windows here with the lamp on. And then whilst the beakers are behind the windows, we're then going to add solution B to those solutions, and after about 10 to 20 seconds, the diadine clock reaction should start to work, and that solution will go from a colourless solution to a dark black solution. And by doing that, we're turning the lights off, drawing the curtains, going to bed, ready for Santa to come and visit us. So again, it's setting up that, actually, you, how do we use quite a classic chemistry demonstration to tell a story and think about our Christmas theme for this particular series of videos. So, we're going to take solution A, and I'm going to add this, about 200 mils, halfway filled to each of our beakers. Like so. Just put that around the back there. I'm going to turn the light on, so we're nice and ready. So we're all awake on Christmas Eve, and I'm going to put these beakers just behind the windows here. And I'm just going to make sure that we don't really see the writing because I think that ruins the effect slightly. There we are. Then I'm going to take solution B and I'm going to add solution B to each beaker. So we're going to have, um, going to fill them really to the top. And what should happen, as I've said, about 10 to 20 seconds after adding this solution in, they should go dark and our lights and our curtains are drawn, our lights are switched off. So here we go. That's into one beaker, into our second beaker, and we should start to see, there we go, there goes one, really quickly, and hopefully after 10 seconds, there we go, there's a second one. So it happens quite quickly, but you should see now there's less light going through the windows, we've drawn those curtains, we've turned those lights off, and Santa Claus should pop down our chimney and deliver our presents ready for Christmas Day because we've all gone to bed now. And then we'll turn our main lamp off as well. So that's a really nice way of showing, and using the iodine clock actually, in a nice sort of scenario and a good theme there. Um, of course, you can use the iodine clock for many other, uh, in many other ways and use it in different lessons and different topics. It's a really nice change um, reaction. So, thinking about 
all of our four demonstrations in total, we've created a really nice theme, a really nice link between those four demonstrations. They could be performed all at the same time in that sort of chemistry lecture, bridging them together, thinking of the story. You could even put, I mean, if you're brave enough, wear a Santa suit, put some decorations out, give it a really nice Christmas theme. Um, but you could also use other themes. We've done um, science fiction effects before, so using things like glowing liquids and how you would stage a different film in terms of the special effects that would go through it and think about demonstrations you could use there and link them together. Um, it can be a really nice experience for pupils to see a lecture that isn't just about this practical and this practical and this practical, but actually having a narrative, a story that goes through all of them. Anyway, we hope you have a, a Merry Christmas and we hope you've enjoyed these videos and get to use them before the end of term. Thank you for watching.